I can't believe it. It's week six of the six week ambient guitar EP challenge. Let's do it. All right, we are at the end of our time together for this six week five track ambient guitar EP challenge. If you've been following along with me and you've got some tunes posted, go ahead and post your links in the comments below. Let's use this video as kind of a central ground for all the links. If YouTube catches the links and puts it into spam folder, I will approve it. On this video, I'd like to quickly walk through my track number five and share some closing thoughts with you. So, track number five, I've got my standard clean sound on my Telecaster baritone up. Okay, and that is the neck pickup, single coil Tele pickup. And for this, I went a little bit different. I dialed in more distortion on my Strymon Riverside. So I'm using a distorted tone. Here's what that sounds like with the tone control turned all the way down on the Telecaster. Yeah, kind of nice. Uh, if you've hung out here, you've heard that sound before. All right, in terms of delays and whatnot, I've got, I'll do the timeline first. I've got the dual delay type uh, dialed up and it's set to about two seconds of delay time. Here's what that sounds like. All right, and you can hear this some modulation going on in the delay repeats. So that's something this, the timeline does really well. All right, I also have the Strymon L Capistan queued up for some Frippertronic style sound on sound. And I've got about a six second or so loop going on. Here's what this sounds like. I've got the repeats turned up pretty far, so the loops will go for quite some time. Last pedal to discuss is the flashback triple delay, and I've got that set up, if you recall from an earlier episode. Got it set up with a clean 2290 style delay, a tape delay, and a reverse delay. And I'm running them all together in series. So in other words, delay one runs into two, into three. So if you're using regular delay pedals, you would just string three of them together. Here's what that sounds like. And that's gonna go for a little bit because I've got a lot of repeats going on in particular since the delays are chained together. All right, so what I did for the piece was put all those delays together. So I've got the El Capistan, three delay lines in the flashback triple delay, and the dual delay, which is actually two separate delay lines on the timeline. So that's kind of five or six, depending, depending on how you count it, delays going on at once. It's pretty complex. Another thing that's a little bit different for this piece is the drone. I decided to go with something in addition to the drone. So I've, I've got kind of a funky drone and a little bit of a drum thing going. Here's what that sounds like. Kind of funky, isn't it? It's a little bit different for me, but I kind of like it. And I'm not going to go into all the particulars of how I got that uh, synth sound, but I'm using, for those of you who are interested, I'm using Logic Pro's Alchemy software-based synthesizer. And so there's two tracks of that. So technically, I broke my rules. I'm actually going to have three tracks total, two tracks of the synth and one of this guitar. 
Now on the guitar side, back to that, if I put all, if I um, engage all the delays and start playing some volume swells of single strings, that you'll hear what I get. And I'm go going to essentially play in the key of D. So I'm gonna start with a low D and kind of build layers. And that's what I did for the performance. Here we go. As you can hear, once you get that juggernaut going, you, you just get lots and lots of repeats. So what I did was simply, uh, when I recorded this, I simply played the kind of the bed, right? The drum, the drum track and the kind of underlying bubbly drone track. And then I just layered these Frippertronic style delays and volume swells on top. Really not a very complex piece, but I really like the tones, the textures, and the rhythm on this piece. All right, that's it for my five track EP. I'm gonna do final mixes and get it distributed uh, as is my goal to all the streaming platforms. And I'll also have an EP available on Bandcamp. So the big question for me is how did you do with your project. Maybe you're still in the middle of the project. That's okay. Like I said the last time on week five, that episode, don't let anything discourage you from getting this project done. Get it done. And then if you haven't decided how or if you want to distribute the music, you can decide that later. And oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, I still need to do cover art, right, for the EP, but that's coming up. I'll get that done. Again, if you've got links, whether it's here on YouTube or Bandcamp or SoundCloud, wherever you're distributing your music, go ahead and post links in the comments on this video. Again, I will approve them so they show up so everybody can check out your music. And, and... If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so to Chords of Orion. Join this awesome constellation of ambient guitarists. See all of you on the next video.